bladder. Uh, we have uh, constipation mm -hmm. for bowel, yeah? but we have incontinence also, we can have it. Uh, for bladder function, we have incontinence also, or urinary retention we can have. We can have... Um, retention. Mm -hmm. Incontinence and retention. And we can also lose all our control of bowel or bladder function. Mm -hmm. It could also be. So if we have uh, dysfunction between the connections of our upper part with lower segmental part, it always has to be both sided to have dysfunction. Mm -hmm. And for example, our patients with multiple sclerosis because it's, it's a multiple dissemination of lesions and there is mul multiple affected pathways we have our patients they have bladder and bowel dysfunction mm. so both sided dysfunction between and disconnection between higher and lower parts of uh, innervation of this it goes to bladder dysfunction We have the problem with the so if we have the problems with uh, musculus detrusor, muscles detrusor working, we understand that this is, it is parasympathetical part affected because we were talking about parasympathetical innervation of this muscle by S1 S3 signals. Yes. Mm -hmm. If we have incontinence, if we have incontinence, this is the problem with our walking, of our work with muscular sphincter, internal and external. What we can't do, we can't look after our uh, after the working of musculus musculus detrusor or musculus sphincter interna. We can't control it. It's segmental part. But we can control the work of musculus sphincter externa, and that's how we can collect <coughs> and stop urinary flow. Yeah.